Literal Creators released this Magical Crate and its theme, as you can see, is Magical Classes. Now I've left this box and the add-ons that were sent until now to open, so <laughs> let's get on with the video. Literal Crate have kindly sent this box to me for free to showcase to you, but these are all my own opinions. Okay, so let's get on with the unboxing. Okay, so as per usual, we shall give you a sneak peek. I'm not sure how much that actually shows. And the first item I see is the Hogwarts Weekly Schedule. Now, I think that might be the cheat sheet, so I'm just going to put that aside, because I don't really want to be spoiled for what's included in this. Next item I see is a shop catalog. Now, Literary Crate actually do a lot of other crates for a lot of other fandoms, like literary books, and there are some incredible items. So it's not just magical themed things, so I'd recommend checking out literary.com and you can see what they have included in that. But I won't look at that for now. Let's go on with the first item. Okay, so the first one that captures my eye is this. And it looks like a little kitty cat. How cute, but like a bag type thing. So let's see what this is. Is it, is it a bag? Is it a cat bag? Not to put cats in, but a cat shaped bag? Okay, so, okay, so it could be one of those those carrier bags. Yeah, no, it is, it is. And it does have a cool cat in it. That's so, okay, so I guess this could be, this is most likely the uh, transfiguration class, because there is a cat. That's a cute little artwork on there. It's completely crumpled, so it's not going to show. And yes, it does show Transfiguration. Actually, the blackboard that we see. Oh, how am I going to showcase this? There we are. I might have to like iron this out a bit and maybe do a different shot on that. But that is the first item. This is something that I would actually get used out of. I always need bags and they do take up a lot of space in my general bag that I carry around. So this is actually a very clever item. And it's so cute that it actually that gets stored in a little pouch that looks like a kitty cat. That's so clever. That's very transfiguration. That is a very clever idea. How clever? I wonder who I wonder who's clever what clever witch or wizard came up with that. That's that's I like that. That's very clever. <laughs> okay. Next item. Let's go for this one. This is intriguing. It's in a box with some padded bubble in there so that could mean it's fragile. So let's take care. I'm notoriously clumsy, so let's see if I can get this out without causing a ruckus. Ooh, what is this? A teacup? Oh, a cute little teacup. Uh, oh, okay, I see, I see. Very clever. Wow, oh, it's it's very cute little tea, uh, teacup and it has some pretty flower designs on the side and inside it has a quote saying my dear you have the grim and it does actually have the grim uh, like tea leaves printed on the bottom that is very clever i would say much more dainty than another subscription box teacup that i did receive this is probably more in lines of actual usability like i would you could have a nice little cup of tea out of that doesn't, it doesn't come with a saucer, but that doesn't matter. I don't actually have any uh, teacups that I use that have a saucer. So this is this you could totally use. I could see my mum drinking out of this because my mum my mom likes thin mugs. Whenever, we come, whenever she comes around, I always have to like fish out the thinnest mug to give her. So I wonder if this would be enough. This isn't like, we would probably be like, it's almost like a shot of tea. So I'm not sure this might be satisfactory for her, but it'd be fun to drink out of. I do like that. That's very, that's very cool. Very clever. I do, yeah. So obviously that is divination class. Okay, let's go for this next one because I see potion ingredients. Now this is clearly going to be the one for potions class. So let's open that up. Beautifully designed box. Carefully selected by J. Piggins Potions. Okay. Salt and pepper. Oh, okay. So that's probably just given me a spoiler. Note to self, don't read the box contents before you open the box. There's a few little cork in here to get out. And let's open that so there's some lovely bubble wrap. So I'm guessing that this is going to be a potions, salt and pepper shaker. But that is very clever. That's very usable. Okay, so it does actually have a, little, a stopper on there with little holes in. And there is salt, a cute little glass container with a sticker on that is designed 
to look like a potion's ingredients, but of course you would put salt in there. I guess if you didn't want to put salt in there, you could just take this label off and fill it with a, another spice of your choice. And if you want to then put on a non-shaker, that's very clever and nice that they gave an extra like, lid that you would put on there if you didn't want to like have it as a shaker. So to show you the other one, that is pepper. So we do have salt and pepper potion shakers. Very clever. These, I must say, these items are very well thought out, very usable items. I would say I, I could fill spices in this, if not salt and pepper. That's so clever! Like so far. <laughs> okay, next item I can see is a prefect badge. Now, you may have seen that I'm actually wearing a prefect badge already because I've been selected as a Litcher Crate prefect. And I do have quite the collection of these lovely badges in different colors so they can go with different outfits. And just showing my support and love for Litcher Crate, which there are such amazing items in these crates. I, I do love them. They're one of my favorites out of all the crates that I get. They are just, they're such, like, as you can see from the items, there's just so much thought and, and, and detail that have been put into each of the items. Fab, fabulous. So that's another little, lovely little badge that I can add to my collection. Okay. Next I see is a little pouch. Now I've gotten quite used to seeing what's in these pouches. From what I remember, there is usually a, a wonderful metal coin in that is designed to showcase something. Now it's usually a spell, so let's see what it is this time. And it is a spell this time. Oh, okay, so I've achieved. Can anyone figure out what this spell might be? It I might need a bit of a hint, it is a swish and flick. And if you didn't already guess, it is of course Wingardium Leviosa. I hope that's showing up there. There we are, it's probably a bit better if it's focusing now. That's Wingardium Leviosa. And then the spell at the back, if you can't see, it is a swish and flick. That is beautifully made, very solid. It's like a proper, proper galleon coin to live to object. So I guess I better get practicing because I've just achieved that spell. <laughs> Next item I see is a box that has Mandragora on. Now if you remember from the films and books, we all know the other term for that. So I'm guessing that this is the item that symbolizes Herbology. Again, I'm not gonna look at the box now because I'm gonna get spoiled of what's in it, but I'm assuming it's lovely and decorated. Okay, let's see. Oh, this seems... Okay, let's open it, I'm scared. Okay, oh, how cute. I'm assuming it's a little mandrake. Like, it is ceramic, so very delicate. Oh, okay, and there is a hole at the bottom. So it is a mandrake planter. That is very clever. You could put a little plant in there, I guess, of anything that would flow out that would then symbolize the mandrake, like, leaves and stuff. Very cute. Ah, oh, I love that. That's that's a very, very cute little item. I do believe that they did say there was a little bit of a spoiler that I got a hint from them uh, that one of the items may not be included that is related to this, so I'm not sure what that item might be, but I'm pleased that I did get the Mandrake portion of this possibly two-part item. That's a very cute. Next item, I'm just going to grab out the plastic here. And as you can see, it is a monster book of monsters. It's very soft and very fluffy. I don't know what this might be in. I can assume it must be some sort of book that opens up. Okay, ooh, it even snaps shut. So, <laughs> so it is slightly, be careful. It is, um, you know, they, they're a bit of a dangerous book. I guess possibly jewelry or trinkets. I could put badges in here. Actually, that would be a really good idea because I'm starting to have quite the big collection of badges that need a soft place to put because I don't want them to get them damaged. So this would probably actually make a really good place to put like badges in, cufflinks I could put. Yeah, great. I like this. This is very cute. I'm just showing you the inside of the brown box there. I should show you the front because that's the more pretty bit. And it's so soft and fluffy. It's like a flashy. <laughs> that's so cute. So far, I'm getting use out of every one of these items. I'm telling you. <laughs> There's a few more items in here. Gosh, this box just keeps on giving. Okay, next one, let's grab the other bubble wrap. 
and it is a lovely one that's just magical collection. Again, no hint, so fortunately I'm not going to be spoiled like I usually am. Okay, I speak and I shall receive. It is the saucer that goes with the teacup that was previously shown. So, hush my mouth saying that I don't have one. Now, I do have a usable teapot. Let me just grab that. So, to show you together, that is so cute. So, if you want to do a bit of tea leaf reading, you could drink your tea out of. As far as I remember, I think you did it in your left hand and you swirl it like a few times and then turn it upside down for the tea to drain and then whatever tea leaves are shown. <gasps> I have the grim. Well, hopefully not because that would be terrible. But if not, there might be an animagus in my future that looks like a jug. Spoilers. Next few items, I see that there is a magical classes. So I'm this is, so, Sarah Conradson has done a lot of the artworks. This is a lovely one, I'm guessing, of looks Ravenclaw very much, because there's Luna, I see there's Gildra Lockhart, there is Sybil Tree Lawney, there is the Ravenclaw ghost. Very cute. This is a lovely little bookmark slash photo, like, reel of items that have come out of the Ravenclaw common room, I'm guessing something's in there. <laughs> Hopefully that is focusing, you can see that. Very cute indeed. Next item is an envelope, so let's open that up. It's got a pretty design on the front, and oh, oh let's drop that so it looks like a mandrake. Let's just show you this quickly. So that is the Defense Against the Dark Arts class, so that's Gildra Lockhart, and obviously Harry with the Cornish Pixies. Let's have a quick look what this says. All right, so this makes sense, so this is explaining there's, why there's a mandrake in there is because of the global shortages and stuff that's happening with the world one of the items which is the two part which is the ceramic pot that goes with the mandrake planter that I showed unfortunately has been delayed completely understandable lots of things have been delayed the last like however two years so no problem there I'm glad I got a little explanation so it's not like maybe an item was missing but that's that's very kind of them and this lovely artwork there's another fabulous badge on here, pin badge, that has some great artwork on there. This gives me like three brothers. So let's have a quick look. So yes, it's, oh, not three brothers, not at all. Completely misjudged that. So this is actually the three unforgivable curses, which we won't add to here because I do not wish to go to Azkaban. That's great some great artwork in there. The use of any one of them on a fellow human being is enough to earn a life sentence in Azkaban. I get it. Not three brothers, this is the three unforgivable curses. Watch out. Last item in there is a beautiful card of the wonderful artwork that is on the front of this box, which I will showcase in just a moment. This is clearly showing her biology class and the head of her first shelf Ramon Sprout showcasing that lesson with the mandrakes, which we know very well. Okay, so before I move on to the add-ons that were kindly sent to me, let us showcase the designs of this box. So we got magical classes on the front, which there are, so we got Transfiguration. I wonder if you recognize that person there. Then we've got Harry Ron, of course, Snape. Beautiful artwork, Divination. Hermione, of course, being doing very well at spells, and then of course, Astronomy Tower. Very lovely indeed. Okay, so a few add-ons. There's a lovely little add-on here, which is a collector's pin of the Ravenclaw Common Room, which is a fab little design, and even comes with a little sticker book token thing that you add on for your collection. That is great indeed. And then there's a few other items that was sent kindly. Now, if you may recall, there was two lovely, in these have been these amazing, amazing keys and sent, I've got two, so I'm, I'm very, very, very spoiled. So thank you very much. This is one of them and they put it out. They've got such lovely packaging. And it's got velvet top to protect it. Let's get that open. Ooh, and you can see what that looks like. Right. <laughs> this one, wow, it is marvelous. Progressive potions. Such beautiful detail in there. This is a little sticker that comes with it. Ooh. 
And let me show you what that looks like there. I mean, look at the detail. I mean, would you ever want to put these on your keys? They are just so nice. I want to keep them perfect forever. I think this even has a little squashy. Like, it looks like there's, like, pages in there as well. I don't want to open it. I feel like that's too, it's too nice to even touch. I love this. So pretty. My goodness. Such detail. Such effort going into these potions. I am astounded every time my goodness people have such creativity okay next one is this one it's like a reveal now I can't, I can't obviously reveal it because it has this pouch at the front like this foam card that makes it difficult to reveal on camera next one wow look at this one oh my goodness okay, so this is the quality quidditch supplies that's a little bit more usable like this one's a little bit more usable because it's like soft as well like that potions book but it's so pretty, look at this, oh my goodness, it's so nice, I love it. Such detail, these are such pretty keys. Oh my goodness, so, so nice indeed, wow. That's it for this unboxing of the Literary Crate. A big thank you to them for sending this over to me. The next crate you can get at this moment you can purchase is Legends and Lore. So be sure to head over to literarycrate.com to order that next one. Best items I've got to say, I'm going to get used out of this bag, certainly, and it's so clever that it's a little cat that it transforms into, that's definitely going to get used. I must say, I do love this little teacup, it is fabulous, and just the fact that even the display item, very, very clever. And also, this Monster Book of Monsters, like, I know it's kind of like plushy, but like, usable at the same time, and does snap shut, I think that's so... So clever, definitely gonna get massive use out of that. What's your favorite from the box? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do me a favor and click that subscribe button and turn notifications so that when there's a new video, you'll be notified. Be sure to give this video a like. And with that, remember, the Wizarding World is just one spell away.